So politics again. So yeah. this man, Ibn al-Jazri, he also was connected with the court and he forced actually the uh, wazir to issue a fatwa. And this fatwa, basically the content of the fatwa is saying anyone who denies the sanctity of the ten readings is considered a kafir, you know. And he actually forced the community back then to follow these three additional readings. So it's always politics and if the reciter or the scholar is connected with the government or with the basically the, uh, the hakim or the wali al-amr as we say, you can always force him to issue the fatwa and the, the fatwa is binding. You know, and uh, it's it's and this is why oh, again many people didn't like that. But what what do you do? So you have to follow the system. So again, in all these, if you if you see, there's a pattern where all the phases of the collection of the Quran and its canonization, it's always politics. So you have the caliph himself is codifying the Quran. The first Ibn Mujahid, you know, he was connected with the court and he forced them to follow seven systems. And then the same thing with Ibn al-Jazri, he also forced people to come up with the ten. And also Al-Azhar, Al-Azhar is a governmental institution at the end of the day. It's also under, you know, and the Egypt Egyptian government through Al-Azhar, they said, okay, well, we are going to issue the first official uh, codex, printed codex according to one reading to all Muslims. And they were reciting the Quran and according to one compilation to 50 different systems and readings, okay? And this is, was, of course, too much. So you need, you are, you are establishing, you know, this is the new religion, you are establishing a new government, you need to stand, you need a constitution. And you can't just like have 50 different versions of one divine text. You need to limit these variants. Ibn Mujahid, and he said, well, out of those 50 plus different systems of recitations, I'm going to limit myself to only seven. And his canonization, this is a canonization process where he uh, neglected the 43 different systems and he chose seven systems because of different criteria that we are still trying to figure out. Um, but what helped him is that he was politically connected. So he actually was connected with the court and he forced people who did not follow his system to actually go to prison. So there were other reciters and other scholars who disagreed with him. And they said, no, why are you limiting yourself to those seven? And he said, well, this is my opinion. You have to follow me. He was connected with the wazir, Ibn Muqla, by the time. And then the wazir, anyone who disagreed with Ibn Mujahid's systems, they tried them, they put them in prison. And then if you don't follow Ibn Mujahid's system, um, you are not reciting the Quran properly.